Ash from Elevate My Faith, and today I was going to be talking about my August Christian Monthly Favorites. I'm outside today because the lighting in my house is kind of crappy because, you know, it's rainy and dark, so if you hear the rain, hopefully you don't mind, and maybe it'll be relaxing background noise. You might hear some cars on the road, so sorry about that, but I just thought it'd be nice to do a video outside. So, yeah, let's just get started with my August Christian Monthly Favorites. So I'll be telling you guys my favorite songs for this month, and the first one is You Say by Lauren Daigle. I love this one. I listen to it all the time on my, like, um, my faith playlist on my iPod. Um, it's just so nice. It's just such a great anthem to listen to when you just need that extra boost when you're having a hard time getting through life or whatever. So this is a definitely a go-to for me. And the second song I've been really loving this month is Famous For by Karen Wells and Jen Johnson. It's just a nice uh, change from all the slower, like more chill songs like You Say or whatever. Um, this one's more upbeat and fun and catchy, so I definitely like listening to this one when I want it to be a more upbeat song instead of all slow and steady, so I would definitely recommend this one. So I was able to get through like two reading plans this month again because it really only takes me half a month to get through reading plans. So I usually have two each month. So the first one I did earlier in August was um, God Says I Am. And then you like finish it with like the verse, like it'll say God Says I Am Blessed and then gives you a verse to look over. And um, yeah, this was a really nice one to go over and just make you feel more like important and loved by God. So I definitely recommend this one. Um, it is short because, uh, you like the Bible, you only get like one Bible verse a day or so. so sometimes I would, uh, clump more days together. I do like two or three at a time instead of just one. So, because I like reading more of my Bible than just like one verse a day. So I just recommend that if you're like me in that sense. And I went over another like anxiety based, um, Bible reading plan again. I did anxiety. What does the Bible say? And uh, once again, they usually only give you like one or two verses to go over, so I would, you know, clump up the days again. I would do two or three days at a time. And it was just nice because, of course, it was filled with just all these nice, inspiring, and comforting Bible verses about how God won't leave our side. He's there for us. So this was very helpful for times I've been getting anxious, and I'm sure we've all been anxious these past couple months, so definitely would recommend this as well. I just started reading a book this month and you guys will probably know it, but it's Heaven Is For Real. I did watch the movie a couple years ago and I, I need to rewatch it again because I totally like forget even what happens in it. But um, yeah, I was able to find this at my thrift store for like really cheap, so I was like I might as well get it and read it. And I'm almost done with it. I'm at the end for like the interviews of uh, the people that helped with the movie, but I pretty much got through like most of the book. So um, yeah, it was just such a nice read. I just couldn't put it down. I wanted to keep seeing what ha happened next. Um, so I definitely recommend this. And it's just really cool to like learn more about heaven because this boy went to heaven. He was able to tell his family some of the things he saw. So it's really cool to just get to picture heaven a bit better than like through the Bible. He also gets first hand experience. So that's really cool. And for my miscellaneous section, I have two things to show you. So the first is this really cute and adorable brother and sister statue my brother gave me for my birthday this month. It's from Willow Tree and it just says brother and sister um, by my side. So it's just such a nice little reminder to have on my kitchen shelf. It's just a reminder of our relationship with each other because we're very close. So yes, I love it so much. So I definitely recommend this as a sibling gift. And this is definitely probably my favorite of the month that I found at, a, at the thrift store with my book. Um, this really cool Not of This World hoodie. It's um, it's funny because it was actually in the men's section when, when my mom was looking and she said like, Oh, this is pretty small for a men's medium. It's probably a woman's hoodie, so do you want to try it? And I was like, yeah. So I put it on over my shirt and it fit me perfectly. So this is definitely a woman's hoodie, but I guess like the design makes it look like it's like a guy's gator hoodie or something. But um, yes, yeah, so I was super excited to get this. It just has the knot of this world symbol, the N-O-T-W. And there's also a little Bible verse that says, they are not of the world just as I am not of the world. Jesus, John 17, 16. That's what it says right there. So yeah, I'm so happy I found this and for so cheap. So yeah, I'll definitely be wearing this a lot in the fall and winter because 
definitely am into getting more Christian merch now. So this was awesome to find at the thrift store. Well, that was everything for my August Christian Monthly Favorites. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll check some things out, um, like the songs and reading plans and just get inspired for some gift ideas like the little statue. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye! Amazing grace, how sweet.